Hey guys! Well, today's the day where I'm going to be sharing my 2014 update of my Filofax planner. Um, I did share a look at my Erin Condren Life Planner last week. I will have a link to that below and in the coordinating blog post if you missed it. This is what I've been using as my posting calendar for, you know, my kind of work calendar, if you will. Um, but I'm still using my beautiful Filofax. This I bought I think about three and a half years ago and I've been using it for the past few years and I just love it. It's held up great, it's beautiful leather. This is the Filofax Finchley A5 in uh, Imperial Purple, sadly discontinued. Um, oh well, that's, that's how it goes, but it's held up great. I use it every day and it really has very minimal wear. Um, it's just such a nice leather. So I'm going to take you through my calendar um, from front to back cover and uh, let you have a look at how I keep my planner organized. Alright, so I will walk you through my current setup of the Filofax. Um, like I said, I didn't make huge changes to it, but just some little tweaks from following people in the planner community. There's so much fun if you love planners. Um, so in the front, this is pretty similar, I think, to last year, although I did um, make a few changes. I, I keep all my labels here um, as well as um, my food journal. Uh, it's a little uh, Moleskine notebook. Just fits right in there. It's soft cover. And one of my favorite Toddy Gear um, screen wipes in its little protective pouch. In the zip pocket, I think I just have stamps. Oh, and a dollar. You never know when you're going to need a dollar. So I have some forever stamps and a dollar. And then you can't see them because they're kind of pushed in, but in the long flap uh, slide po slip pocket, that's the word, I have my favorite Martha Stewart um, removable labels. And I use these for color coding tasks at the bottom of my daily calendar pages, and I'll show you that when we get to it. Then there are these... Um, well, actually, there's six slip pockets that are a little bit smaller, and I have more sticky notes and stuff. So I like the post-it note full sheet adhesive labels, and I have them in different sizes. Some I've cut down to fit, and some, I, some I've left as they come. But I've got my bigger ones up there, and then I have these kind of square ones here, and I just um, stuck them onto some index cards so they wouldn't get like lost back there. Um, that way when I tuck them back in they still kind of stick out because if I just put them in as is they would get kind of lost back there. And I did the same thing with my um, small rectangle labels. Now I made these by cutting down uh, bigger sheets to size and I just stuck them on an index card that I actually taped two index cards together. It's not very fancy. But I, I just like the way that these work on my calendar pages because they are very, um, you know, they stay in place once you put them there, but they're easy to lift up and move around. And I do tend to move my labels around. Then I also have some of my business cards and like a Starbucks card that's kind of random. Okay, so now we're getting into the meat of the planner here. I have a Filofax A5 zip pouch, and this I've had for as long as I've had the Filofax, which is um, a Finchley in the Imperial Purple. It's an A5. Unfortunately, they don't carry this line or this color anymore, which I think is really sad because it's such a nice pebbly leather. But they do have other leather organizers, and we're expecting a new line to come out this summer. Um, so, I have this, and it's held up great. I mean, I think it's in pretty good shape, and I have my favorite pens in it, and I'll try to pop in close up some of my pens, because it's kind of far to see uh, the contents of what's in my little pouch here. But I have pens in all the different colors I use for color coding my calendar. I have a mini Bic whiteout, uh, which is essential. I have a larger eraser by Papermate, and then I have lead refills for my pencil, which is what I primarily write in in my planner. And this this is a uh, 0.7 by Pentel, and that just fits in my. It fits in both the Vera Bradley pens and pencil or pencils rather, and, as well as the Jonathan Adler ones that I use sometimes that I got from Barnes and Noble. Um, so I don't keep this clipped in because I like to have it floating around, but I do generally keep it when the binder's closed, tucked right into the front like that. Then. I went ahead and laminated the little uh, love poem that Don made me for um, Valentine's Day. He made me a Philofax Valentine, which I thought was so sweet. 
and I actually realized I had a Xyron machine on hand and somebody pointed out that I could get like a laminating cartridge for it. I'd just been using it as a full adhesive back when I was scrapping a lot more about five years ago that's when I bought it. I haven't used it in a while because I haven't really been scrapping lately. I bought a laminated cartridge for it. It's not like the sturdiest laminator either, it's, you know, and it's not heat set. Um, it's just a sticker kind of backing, but it does the trick. So I've got that front and center because it's so cute. And then I have my handmade by Charlotte Victoria um, dividers. Now these were a gift from Charlotte, which was really sweet. She does have an Etsy shop. I'll have that linked in the blog post for sure. Um, and they just, they match my Finchley so beautifully. Um, and I love how they're double-sided with different prints on the back. Um, so I have six tabs and I've broken them down. This is a little bit newer. I didn't, I only had like two or three tabs last time, I think, or no tabs at all, maybe. I have personal, monthly, daily, travel, expenses, and important. And I will go through those as we get there. So personal is just that. It's just kind of my like personal pieces of paper. And in here right now, I have my time management weekly schedule and my time management work schedule, which I have a post on, which will be linked in the blog post as well, and my 2014 personal and work goals. I just printed these out and um, punched holes in them. Now previously I was using these sorts of um, slip vinyl slip pockets, is that what they're called? Um, and I had them in the front. But I really wanted to put Don's poem in the front and I didn't like how they, they stuck out so much that they um, hid my tabs on the side. So I decided to just punch them in and put them there. But I do like these vinyl pouches from Filofax. I think they're nice. Um, so that's what I've got in that section. Oh, I've also tucked the um, our Christmas card from this year into the back of my pen pouch so I can see our picture when I pull it out. And then I also, uh, Charlotte also sent me um, these really, really beautiful bookmarks uh, that match my dividers. And she punched them with decorative punches on the bottom. And all I did to alter them was to cut little snippets on the holes so that they would be removable. Because that's how I prefer my bookmarks, is to be removable like that. And so far they're holding up great. She uses whatever laminator she has is awesome because they're, they're very sturdy and they're super cute. So I have my month at a glance calendar here. Let me pull this out so you can see it. And it's basically, that's how I use it for. It's for overall planning of appointments and birthdays and travel and holidays and, um, you know, personal get togethers, family things, all that jazz. So this is not work related at all. I do have a planner just for my posting um, schedule and stuff just to keep up with that and I did a whole video on that last week and I will link that below for you guys. If you're interested I use an Erin Condren life planner for that. But this is just my personal month at a glance calendar and I do have a color coding system that I use throughout the calendar although I do write mostly in pencil. This is the only calendar that I have that I wrote primarily in pen in um, and I just I just prefer it because it's easier for me to visually look at it like that. Um, so the next section is my daily calendar and whereas in years past I have kept the whole year in the Filofax which acts you know, makes it really, really bulky. I've decided to just keep six months in at a time for right now. So probably at the end of March, I'll take the first three months out and put them, you know, July through August, or no, July through September in. Right now I have January through June. Um, so you see every three months, I will take three months out and add three months in. Um, that's just, I don't know, that's just what's working for me right now. And I'm using one of these Laura Oh boy, I can't pronounce that. One of these O-L-I block magnetic clips to keep my pages together. I really like these magnetic paper clips or clips or whatever you want to call them. I have them in different sizes. I actually have one in my little food journal. It keeps my little pages together. It's a smaller one. Um, the pages that I've already gone through. Um, and I use one in my week, my weekly um, planner tool, which I will show you guys in a minute. Um, but I will have the any product that I share with you that is available, I will have linked in my blog post. Um, and there's a link to that below. So this is a basic look. This is the last couple of days for me. And again, I have another Charlotte Victoria um, 
bookmark. She gave me a whole bunch, which was really sweet. And I've added this little charm. I'll, I'll give you guys a close-up of this. It's keep calm and carry a planner. I had pinned this and Don put it in my stocking at Christmas. Actually, he forgot to put it in my stocking and then found it like two weeks later. Uh, but it was supposed to be in my stocking. It was an exciting kind of like extra present. And I've just looped that through the bottom punch here. She has a little butterfly punch in. And then I really like the little um, ribbon bookmarks I've been seeing on Instagram. So, but I didn't want to punch a hole in this, uh, in the top of my bookmark in the event that I didn't want a hole in there someday. So I just made one on a paper clip and taped the paper clip with clear tape to the bookmark. It's easy to pull off because it's laminated, uh, just to make it a little bit more secure. Uh, but it's sort of, you know, it's not permanent. Um, and I just took a ribbon I had on hand and tied it around a paper clip. And that just makes it easier for me to pick out my daily spot right away because I have two other bookmarks in my file of facts. Um, so I have the day, the daily bookmark kind of special, <laughs> specialized bookmark with my little charm and my little um, ribbon guy at the top. So I'll pull this up so you guys can see. What you see here is a very common look at a calendar for me. Let me move this over so you guys can see it a little better. Um, as you can see, I'm using my different kinds of labels that I showed you in the front. I have the uh, post-it note full adhesive labels. This one in particular, you see it's a little bent up at the corner. I've been moving this from day to day for the past like two weeks. This is exchanges I have to make online and I just haven't prioritize that. But that's what I like about it. It's so easy to pick up, but it's two weeks later. I've moved it literally every day and it still sticks. So that's why I go with that. And at the bottom you can see I use the Martha Stewart little teardrop labels and I have them the color coded designated for certain things. So I use blue for filming, I use orange for linen laundry, green for watering my plants, yellow for clothes laundry, red for bills and filing. Um, and pink for Winnie's bath, uh, bath time. Uh, so that's just how I use that and that's just a good like at a glance like m big tasks or things that I want to remember every day. Well watering plants isn't really a big task but you know it's just things that help me keep those things in my mind that are more um, regular chores or to-dos that I have. Um, and then I use the Filofax pages and I, I, I briefly considered trying something else. I got really interested in the do-it-yourself fish, also on Etsy. 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 <laughs> Excuse me. Um, makes incredible planner inserts that are very intricate but really, really, I think, very creatively organized. Um, but because I carry an A5, I just thought that would be a little too much space. It's actually two days, uh, two pages for a day, and that's more than I need. Um, but I, I think it's a really interesting, and I will put a link to her in the blog post so you guys can look at her inserts. They are super, super cool. If you carry a personal planner but want more space to write and don't want to use an A5, you might be interested in her inserts because they give you a lot of room to write and you can get them in the personal size. So what I do with my Filofax inserts is I put any appointments or meetings or events or what have you on the um, timeline side. So there's time increments from 8 to 8, an hour, you know, of time blocks uh, with my color coding system. So for instance, yesterday I had therapy and then I had some errands to run and then I had acupuncture all back to back. Um, so that's what I put there. And then on the blank column um, on the right side here is where I list my daily to-do list. And I write this every night before I go to bed. It's one of my tools for helping relieve stress and anxiety. I find that making a to-do list, I know this might seem like way more like it detailed than anybody needs, but it works for me. Um, and writing things down and giving myself a sense of time makes me able to not um, worry about it. Uh, which is important to me and I've been sleeping like a baby since I started this system a few years ago. It just helps me kind of unload my thoughts. I know that they're, they're written down. I know I have a plan for the next day and I can sleep easy. I don't have to worry about things. Um, and I do write down things like work out and, and I schedule on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's just really more of a time guide for me. I don't necessarily do all of these things every day and I don't necessarily do them in this order. And I change things, that's why I write in pencil. But it's just a way to help me 
plan my day and though it might seem rigid to some people, this actually allows for a lot of flexibility in my schedule because I'm the kind of person who just thrives in a schedule um, and just is much happier when I have some guidelines and some boundaries to work within. Um, so this really, really works for me. So um, this is a basic look at my, my the way I plan. Um, so we'll move on to the next tab which is travel. Now I do keep all of my travel calendars since I've kept my file of facts. So I have 2011 actually through 2015. And these are the, I believe they're called the horizontal yearly calendar. Um, so this is 2011 actually. Um, I, I just like to look back at one, what trips we've taken sometimes for reference and sometimes just for nostalgia. So And they're small, so I keep them in here. I mean, I probably won't keep them all in there for the end of time, but for now, they're small enough that they fit. Uh, but I will, uh, here you can see 2013, and I've color-coded this in my system where purple is Don and me trips, blue is just me, and green is Don, just Don trips. Um, so I have another um, handmade by... Charlotte Victoria uh, ruler, that's what we call that, at this year, and I've only filled in the front part. Now what I'll do when I'm planning a tentative trip is I will mark it off in pencil, and then I'll go back and mark it in pen when it's, when it's set in stone. Um, but we don't have anything planned really for the rest of the year at the moment. Um, so there's that. And then these last two tabs are my most recent tabs. I have expenses and important. Now, I don't have um, filled out sheets in here because this is private information, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm trying out right now. And these are inserts from Mrs. Brimble's, another Etsy shop. There is a wealth of planner goodies on Etsy. Um, and she also very kindly sent me these planners. They're the Busy Bee pattern. <laughs> she thought they were fitting for me. Um, and I'm trying out a new way of recording expenses. Uh, mainly want to work on getting them into a um, Excel document, but I do better writing things out in pen and pencil. So that's what I'm testing out right now, but I don't have any of my filled in sheets for obvious reasons. And then the next section is important, and this is where I keep my most critical uh, password passwords that I need to access a lot because I have different passwords for every site and thing that I have, and it's really hard to keep track of. Now I do have this little black book password keeper book that I love that I keep all of my passwords in. I only keep my most um, accessed ones in here um, for easy you know, use. And this is easy to pull out if I want to, you know, stash it or something, if I'm worried about anybody seeing it. But like I said, I pulled out the one that I've got, or the ones that I've got fold, and just left in a blank sheet for you guys to see what it looks like. And then at the back here, I have a dashboard, another gift. Thank you, Anna. Uh, Mrs. Brimbles on Etsy made this and sent it to me. It's actually a print of one of her art pieces. So she she laminated it and I think it's just so cheery and so cute and fits so well with the theme, kind of the purpley theme of my planner. Um, and it also helps protect the paper at the back from getting kind of messed up here. Okay, we've made it to the back of the planner. So I've got two things in the mesh slip pocket here. And there is a slip pocket this way, but I don't keep anything in there because I find it rather hard to access with the rings. Um, but this is really nice. So I've got my May Books weekly planner. I know, you're like, another planner? How many designers do you need? And some um, note paper that I use for kind of like scraps and stuff. Um, so this is something that I added to my routine this year. I was making a week at a glance kind of penciling out my schedule on these pads of paper I had and that was okay, but I do better with a little book. So I decided to use my May Designs book for that purpose. So I'll open it up. Again, I'm using one of those little Ollie clips here. Um, and it's very simple layout, and I shared this in my planner guide video um, from late last year. But this is a weekly agenda, and you can fill in the dates, and it's just very open. It's got Monday through the weekend, and then it has things to do, 
errands to run, and oh, can't forget. And I only write in this on Sundays, and it's really solely just a tool to help me visualize my week. And I swear, it has been so, so helpful to me. Um, so I like to daily plan a day in advance, but I like to have a, kind of some idea of my week, uh, a, you know, on the Sunday before the week starts. And that's what I do. And I have a color coding system for posts I want to make and appointments I have and dinners and stuff and all of that jazz and errands I'd like to run. And this just kind of helps me visualize my week before it's starting. Um, and that's really been a very effective tool for me and I love how light and thin it is and it just slips right in there and you can customize these I mean I'll have a link to them in the blog post I think they're amazing you can customize them to be I think they've got like dozens and dozens of color, cover co uh, options and different plates you can have and different kinds of inserts they have like um, wedding planners and food and exercise journals and all that jazz and I did want to mention again also about the Mrs. Brimble's inserts is she doesn't have just these two inserts. She actually offers a nice variety of calendars and other inserts. And I highly recommend you check out her Etsy shop as well as all the other Etsy shops that I um, talked about here because these ladies are just so talented and so creative in the way that they um, provide us wonderful products for our planners. Last but not least, I do have a couple of accessories. Right now I'm using this set of Vera Bradley pens that I've had for a very long time. Um, they're nice and thin. They're not both pens. I don't know why I said that. This one's a pencil. <laughs> that one's a pen. Um, I use the pen to write on my labels, basically, and that's about it. Um, so there's that. And then also, and I shared this in last week's video, I have my little planner suitcase. Um, this is the Orla Kylie uh, Sweet Pea Weekender from Target. It's a little bit hard to get your hands on. They've had them in stock at my Target for like a month straight. Every time I pass by, I check because I'm like, oh, I wonder if they're in stock, and they are. Um, but I know that they're not available online currently, but I hope they bring them back. And I shared this in my last video and blog post, but basically I can fit both my planner and both of my planners in there. So my, I usually put my Filofax on this side because it's a little bit more protected with the vinyl, um, kind of plastic, clear vinyl stuff. So see, fits perfect in there. And then I have my project management notebook, which I shared in last year's planner update, which I will put a link to in the blog post as well if you guys are curious. My Erin Condren life planner, which I use for work, slips right in there. Plenty of room for my fun pens and my project management notebook and some stuff in the middle. And when all is said and done, it closes up and it's your little planner suitcase. Um, so I didn't go into too much detail about that because I did last week. But um, that's for when I... To be honest, I've only used it once, and it's for when I bring want to bring the whole set somewhere. And I usually don't travel with my planners, um, but I do like to take them to Utah. So this has been my little planner suitcase to go to Utah, and it's worked out quite well. Um, and there, there you have it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at my calendar. Like I said, the update of the actual meat of the calendar is not that different from last year, but I did rearrange it a bit and... Um, found some new great Etsy shop owners who make really beautiful and functional things that I wanted to share with you. And I think it's fun to share these things once a year, you know, kind of show you what I'm doing differently here and there. Uh, if you'd like to see pictures and get links to all of the products that I use and love that are currently available, all of that will be, as always, on my coordinating blog post, which is linked below. And in case you did miss my Erin Condren planner video last year, last year, last week, hello! Um, I am running a giveaway right now for 10 winners who will each win $100 gift cards to erincondren.com um, and it's running for another week. So um, I will have information about that giveaway in the blog post that coordinates to this video um, where you can find, easily find it and enter to win if you're interested. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'd love, love, love to see a little sneak peek of your planner. 
If you want to tweet me a picture or leave one on my Facebook um, page, that seems to be the easiest way for me to see photos. I can't really see your photos when you guys Instagram them to me all of the time, although I do catch them sometimes. But if you tweet the, me a picture, I would just love it if you want to share or just uh, give me a description uh, in the comments of what you use and, and why you like it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you are all having a wonderful day. Happy planning, you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.